there's an incredible feeling that comes over a runner and they call the runner high and I don't know if it's endorphins or what it is, but, and it's about life, you know, it's about never stopping and, uh, you know, continuing to challenge yourself. The training for um, endurance running and for marathoning in particular is different for each person. For me, over the course of the week, I would um, do one long run on the weekends and that long run started around 12 or 13 miles and then you're supposed to increase that by like 10% a week. Um, my long run got all the way up to 26.2 miles three weeks before the marathon. I was scheduled to do a 22 mile long run with my training partner and uh, we were just kind of, I don't know, having fun and, and, and daring each other and we thought, what the hell, let's do it now. There's an incredible feeling that comes over a runner and they call the runner high and I don't know if it's endorphins or what it is, but it's when, you know, you know, your system is just right, your rhythm is just right, your legs feel good, um, your breathing's set, and you feel like you could run at that pace forever. And it's something that kind of comes over you. And when it does, it's, it's, it's a rare, you know, for me at least, it's a rare occasion. And, you know, you just kind of run with it. For me, it's, it's just about setting goals. It's about pushing myself. It's about um, being disciplined and being regimented. Running a marathon isn't just going out on race day and running for three or four hours. It's about months of training that lead up to that. You're out there and everything hurts. And man, I was at mile 21, 22, 23. I couldn't open my eyes. I couldn't hear anything. My, you know, calves were aching. My hamstrings were cramping. Uh, my shoulders were sore, and you're thinking, you know, what the hell am I doing? And it's about life, you know, it's about never stopping and, uh, you know, continuing to challenge yourself. I mean, I, I want to run forever, you know, I want to run, I want to run till I'm old, and I want it to be something that I do to keep healthy. Um, you know, I want to run with my grandkids and register them for their first race and go out and keep up with them. My time uh, on Sunday was uh, my official chip time. And the chip is the little electronic device that you tie onto your laces um, that marks the time that you cross the starting line to the time that you finish. Um, you know, finished the marathon, was three hours, 11 minutes, and 18 seconds. The qualifying time for the Boston Marathon is <laughs> three hours, 10 minutes, and 59 seconds. So there's a sadistically tragic 19 seconds there. Yeah, I didn't stop, you know, but of course, I look back and I flow through every event, every step, I, uh, I'm infuriated at the guy who cut me off at that one water stop. I, uh, I wrote a nasty email to my old roommate who told me he'd meet me at Haynes Point and I swear I slowed down for him a few seconds and fell out of my rhythm. Um, and for the, you know, for the first 24 hours after the marathon, there was, uh, you know, I, I, was, I was not in a good place. You, know? you work so hard and so long and you train so hard for something and um, and the difference between getting it and not getting it for me was negligible. I mean, 19 seconds over 26 miles, that's less than a second a mile.
decided today that I was going to register for the Richmond Marathon. It's in three weeks, uh, November 15th. And I don't know if that's, uh, I don't know if that's long enough um, away, but I feel like I'm in good shape. I feel like I was kind of cheated out of, uh, well, I wasn't cheated, I cheated myself out of an opportunity to qualify for the Boston Marathon. So I'm going to go down to Richmond in three weeks. I want to earn my spot. I want to cross the finish line, put my arms in the air, and, you know, say I qualify for Boston. So.